Alright, thanks everybody for joining us for another Valhalla session. Let's uh, go ahead and kick off on this new wonderful day. Justin, would you like to read our news? Yeah, sure. Lilo receiving mysterious messages update to my last one. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what the, what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilum? Either way, some reports indicate that Lilum behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when Lilum advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? No, it isn't! The, the ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Kanye, from the western nation of Kanyevania, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like Kim Kardashian. But is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? Those dictators from Venezuela where just do what they want. They don't give a shit, Marianne Zimmer, 35, told the augmented eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. If I was them, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you just make them from scratch to match your every needs? More as we investigate. Yoru Yoru is the best show this season. Oh my god, I hate these clickbait titles. Is that like Yuri Yuri, I think, is what it's playing off of? Yuri Yuri, oh yeah. god, I don't remember that show. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life, yeah, this is great. Or Slice of Life shows already, then prepare to join the Moe Church this season with the premiere of Yoru Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. Remember that time travel episode? Man, that was great. The pals of the popular Danger U forum seem to be divided, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember which anime was about women doing womanly things and being the shit out of each other like an icky tosin? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who live their lives. Master, Master Marshall Hearth was a masterpiece. Fuck you, that anime sucked. I'm gonna marry Sheena Sue. Wake me up inside. You can catch YYF every Friday at, at, I don't know, I didn't add. Oh, uh, I thought you were done, sorry. Alright, Christmas party. Fuck you, Jill. Damn, it's for nerds. Jill, that is what we call a small PP move. You don't even have a PP, and that's a small PP move. Still valid. I can voice Jill this time. Okay. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. What the hell are you wearing? I'm poor. Fuck you. You came in your uniform! That's the thing I got. These aren't the nicest clothes I have. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Touche. Well, can't show up in casual clothing and being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? Casual Friday. That one didn't break the dress coat somehow, but kilt's are special. Oh, and you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. I wanted cute maid outfits. Almost wearing the same clothes, too. Alright, so who wants to voice Alma? Alright, fine. <laughs> well, everything's in place back there. Ah, oh, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up, it's becoming a reflex. Wait. Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Ribbed sweaters get a free pass. They're hot. Why? Do you not hear her earlier? <laughs> Silly question. Never mind. Jamie came in earlier too. The dogs went to get, him get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is such a chore. So it's better to buy some outside. Plus ice is gross. Have you ever tested ice from a restaurant? Gross. What were you doing 
back there, Alma. Setting up the food, Alma. The what? I bought it three days ago. Impulse buy. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. I got it from Wish. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch it as it warms the food up just like a microwave. Witchcraft. Sufficiently advanced science is indistinguishable for magic. It's an information information bubble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. Buy infomercial stuff, too. Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well. Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody, somebody came after me. Is it weird? Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Oh, <laughs> oh don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. Taking her side now. Jealous? You wish. You don't need a fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Don't be on fire. Fire bad. Uh. Whoa. Uh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See, that's how you greet people. You shot it. Uh, uh, I'll go help out. I'll, I'll, um, ah. Uh, I'll go help sweater pumps. Something wrong. She's not good with dogs. Oh. Alrighty, we're all here so we can start. Yo, Anchorage! Alma. I know what I said. That's your name now. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wires things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly, or burn that bitch! So how long? Fifteen minutes or so. A bell, a bell will ring when the time comes. Oh, serve up some drinks. You need to kill some time then. You're right, drinks. Yara bar. Hmm. Alright, let's play truth or dare. Not spin the bottle? Oh. What? Who we'll plays spin the bottle anymore? It's oh, a bar. Yes. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that smut, that mutt stays away from me. I'll make the time pass faster. Drunken truth or dare. You play. Do you want me to take Alma, Justin? You're like doing like five different voices. I don't mind. Alright. Oh, this got real. Alright then. The rules are simple. If you get picked, you either pick truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. So I want a 50 minute timer. What about punishment games? Those are hassle. Just issue new questions or challenge until other person complies. That said, Jill! Yes! You start, pick someone. Gil? You mean John? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gil. Okay, then Gil, what do you pick? Um, truth. What's your last name? Dare. Oh, I kick Dare. <laughs> Suspicious 
Try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. All right. Why wasn't that jump in that 70s show? Yeah. This is a beer. Only works, I think. My turn, right? Well. Me, pick me. You, the dog. No, I'm the one that dares you. <laughs> Bring it on! Um, see. Sir, yes, sir! You're not sitting. Sir, yes, sir! Whatever, you did it. Alright! You, the blonde, pet me! Huh? What a, uh... your, your hands are cold! Jill. I'll go with there. Give me a shoulder massage. Oh boy. Really? Really? Okay. You are good at this. My grandpappy told told me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? So, if my memory serves right. Then he was. Sorry, he's used the bathroom. Aaron. Aaron! Oh. Oh well. It was a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclasped her bra though. Oh boy. It felt like something snapped. Go, go, go on. Why are my boobs so big? Well, just imagine the pressure the poor thing must be subjected to. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. When you? <laughs> I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. Brad Sheba. Of course, you gotta do the dog in the Hawaiian shirt. And sunglasses. The dog in the Hawaiian shirt? The doge. Alright. Alright. Yes. Okay then, dog. Yes! I dare you to go outside and stay out there. That's easy! That's one less problem. Oh, God. <laughs> Ellipses. Well, then, why don't you... <laughs> I feel like everybody's taking the opportunity to call Dorothy a bitch. Whoa. I keep like, getting disconnected. What happens? No idea. Oh, well, then, why don't you continue in the dog's place, Dorothy? Oh, wow, that was rude. Chamber with someone, who would you pick? What fucking question is that? What, what's a pressurization chamber? What? A what? I, I don't really know either. It was like, uh, some, some, something they made up, I guess. What full of people? The one's here right now. Oh god. I guess either you or Jamie. Oh? Yeah, I mean, if I went into a chamber with Dorothy, it'd be 
fishy. I know for certain that my boss would fall asleep because she gets bored easily. And Gil is claustrophobic. Philip is claustrophobic? <laughs> so I'm gonna... I'm many things. I'll pick death. Can you lift me with just your non-mechanical arm? Ellipse. Suggestive? Alright, you can. You can. Please put me down. <laughs> well then. Hey Gil, choose a chair. Can I really pick? That's an order. Let's go with death. Okay then, please cross your arms. All right. Now turn a bit to the left. Yeah. I need my left. Oh. Bit more. Now stand still for a second. Uh, so is that a picture? That it is. Nope, not even same race. Sorry for the trouble. What the hell? You're comparing me to a pig? Yep. From a very questionable website. Can I at least see it? No. It's not safe for work. Yeah, boy. Bell? Food's ready. Let's go. Let's go ahead. I'll look like smoke outside. Careful, smoking is bad for you. Hey, is anyone gonna get me? Why would somebody smoke before eating? That sounds awful. Yeah, that would make food taste bad. Well, that and it would probably like make you kind of sick. Kinda also, I looked, up a, I looked on a, up a pressurized chamber, and I guess it's an oxygen therapy thing. So uh, kind of like where you wear those masks to like uh, help your breathing exercises and stuff like that. I guess it's some health thing. But. There, huh? That's fun, I guess. Hey! Uh, oh. I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Merry Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Diana's making a rocket, so I gotta leave. Luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, what have you been doing? Fine, I guess. I'll just stop keeping my mind on things for a while. <sighs> Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Kabusha or any of the old literature bins. This boss went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you twist the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to a war. I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've gotta go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Also quit smoking. Hey, 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 Jill Spack. She's smoking less. It's a good sign. All right. What's is this the moon? moon? Why is the moon blown up? I feel like it came in at just the right time. I thought I have no idea what's going on.
chapters? Oh, I don't know. About 12. So the what? Okay, hey, yeah. For real? Rent, oh, rent, we need $10,000. Uh, oh, shit. We're, we're, we got four days we're and we only fine. have 3000 We're fine. No. <laughs> Is it game over if you don't make a you get, rent? You get the bad ending if you don't have Oh it. my god, why do we buy uh, all that stuff? We didn't really buy anything, we just paid our electric bill. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta buy the doll because then we'll be distracted and we can't work yeah, well. Yeah, but yeah, buy, buy the doll so that... Uh, and uh, then we gotta make money, we gotta make money. Yeah, because you gotta get distracted with the doll. The Alex figure, I think. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one. Okay. Y2K, oh, save us! I know your game was shit, but you might be still might be able to say it. Why you want you please? I'm sure you that work. Have a nice day. Alright, what news do we have? Yeah, don't forget to save. Glitch City Olympics returns next year. For the 10th consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the emblematic Super Silver Thunderdome, this time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanyevania. Prime Minister Quincy, who was in charge of the committee, told the Almond and I that it wasn't easy getting in touch with Kanye, and that we had to violate some of his religious rules in order to see some of the best competitors come to the country. Kanyevania's main religion, Kanyeism, prohibited the existence of nano machines inside the body, and as such, competitors have said from said country had to perform special treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, they'll do the trick. This does not explain Jesus is king. <laughs> no, it does not. You won't believe what happens in this cartoon. Cartoons are not for children. It's still largely colorful, but the themes they touch have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today has dark themes. It's come to the point where innocent anime characters are no longer a thing. I thought children are young adults from birth now. But enter, touch Fluffy Tail. A new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep plots, just fun with numbers and a fluffy tails, said TFT producer, who asked to remain honest to play internet baggage. I don't want death threats for making a cartoon about her actual kids. Is this a play on like Steven Universe? <laughs> or or uh, what they did with Teen Titans. Gravity Falls or something? Yeah, no. okay. yeah. Well, Gravity Falls had some dark I don't remember. Too. I don't remember the, the Teen Titans universe. people getting like too many death threats. Maybe from yeah. Teen Titans Go, if that's what you mean. No, I, I meant I meant more like like they made the the live action show where there was like Robin who was like fuck Batman. Oh. The uh, the oh, super the dark trailer. Oh, yeah. The Titans show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's live action. We're just talking about like how the animated stuff has it's pretty dark too. I mean, I mean and that's true too. Like, like show, shows like Rent a Girlfriend, for example, may look innocent. But if you actually yeah. think about it, it's pretty fucking dark. Well, it was just, yeah. it was basically getting at how like if you the fuck up someone's favorite character, you get all this backlash from social media. I think, and I think oh, it's yeah. playing off like the or people fight about sh this the chip Steven wars universe. online. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Steven I mean, yeah. I remember, I mean, I remember the backlash to Hot to Rock with Mouse Sama's ending. Oh boy, that was that was a bad one. <laughs> Anyway, the Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees each week, and the dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. This time, it is important that two people die during a race held to the Gate Highway, otherwise known as the Death Lane. The Transit Police is currently investigating the deaths as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet. Chief Transit Police Department J. Espocio told the I and I, the deaths of these two youngsters will be the last, however. That's a promise. Oh, wait, who's that third guy who's standing over there? That's Posito. Posito. Oh, yeah, that's up. Alright, ready to go to work? Yeah, let's make some money. We're selling the most expensive drinks we can, I think. And organs. Yeah. G evening. Hey Jill, Gil is back sorting ingredient shipment and I've got things to do. Dog's in charge, okay? Bye! Hell yeah! Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order, pet me! No. Pet me! No. I'm a judge and I want you to pet me! <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, 
J. Won't touch you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. <laughs> Won't. Well. Why is she so averse to petting a rad sheep? Maybe because she's like making drinks and you probably shouldn't pet a dog and then try to make drinks of yeah. her. Uh, I guess that's kind of true. Sure. Glad she pet a dog. Everybody knows that. You go. He said Will, not Gil. Ah, uh, uh. that's one of his. Uh, that's one of his like names he took when he was uh, skipping town. Yeah. Who the hell is Will? Nobody. <laughs> Don't be rude, poor Will. There's no will. Do you need me to suck you up then? Shut up! Who, me or Will? Ah! <laughs> you go back to wherever you were, yeah, to whatever you were doing. I want this to just be All like right. the whole chapter, or the whole night, and just you stand by with Will. <laughs> Fuck just happened. Oh god. Oh crap. Alright, Alright for Helio. Ah, Amber oh, Alert! Amber alert. <laughs> Wait. I can do for Helio if no one else has got him. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to the, uh, the Helio. Why do you sound so weirded out? Bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Virgilio wants a bleeding Jane. Work. I'm James. Yes, that's this is just the thing. So tired of putting on an act. Care to explain? It's a long story and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The Pompous Buffoon Act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird? To be suspicious of something? You try to not raise suspicion, but act like... But act in a bombastic manner that screams through there. Everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Huh? I mean, you might be right if I, if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention. But then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I'm so smart. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Something with a little spice. What's the most expensive one? Do we get more money if we put more crabby train in it? No. Yeah, we actually technically get less money. Because if they get drunk faster, then they won't order as much. So uh, the bloom light is the best. Okay.
Um, also, do you lose money if you screw up a drink? No, I don't think so. It's only if you Unless you it. Yeah. Right. Oh, A is down on the rock. <coughs> Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? Is this a metaphor? I'm confused. I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender! Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at, uh, thank you at that. Don't worry, I actually feel like it was... I was too rude of you la 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 God. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at... You came at me at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, I'm sure. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sort of pass. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Think about it. How did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh, again? A again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. Expression runaway doesn't. I've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator, I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm some sort of criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other day. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. There we go. Alright. works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl like last time. Even with the bandages, there's still just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. 
Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. And here we are, another me person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? He wants to voice the part. Um. I Anyone want a voice art, or do I have to just do the voice? Uh, yeah, I can, I can do another voice, no big deal. Okay, alright, Zach. Gut punch. Okay. So are we all on mute because of uh, we're drinking? Well, I was on mute for a while because I was drinking, but also because my AC is loud and I didn't want the background if I wasn't talking. Oh. Uh. Now that you mentioned it, I now notice it. I never noticed it before. <laughs> Here. Oh, you got it right. So what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a festivist kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? If you have something to say, say it! I'll refrain. Shut up, what George Costanza sounds like. <laughs> well then, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumer's craze! Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that Turbo Mel guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo Mel? It can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Taxi na or tacky names were not a problem. Santa? Thanks to the Redmond family? Mega San Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa. I guess that means like negative or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it, it sounds like it. Like evil Santa. Yeah. Renaming it's the not... holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. It makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate festivals. <sighs> no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate festivus? Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a fringe reaver, will you? Ooh, he's splurging. He usually buys cheap drinks. Here. Right, thanks. Any issues with the city lately and what's the word on the street? Wouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of White Knight stopped, so there's that. Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the badness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Any other 
What was this here? Oh no, I just did. Uh, I'm back. I just had to oh, I okay. up an emergency. Uh, did you want to do George Costanza? Yeah, sure. All records of whatever happened there have been long been de deleted. Security camps, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there has become even more of a mystery now. What are save plans on testifying? Does anyone know if they want? They went in there in the first place. Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the other silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that writer of the last rain in the world is actually living here as praying in a jar. But those are the kinds of rumors you hear from crackers. Crackers might hold on that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. No, wait, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if something. Let me know if someone comes in. Intermission. Is it a break if you have to uh, go in when a customer comes in? Not really. No. But I mean, like, since there's two bartenders and they <laughs> they seem to only get one patron at a time, usually, I think she's fine. Yeah, Gil only Gil only serves one person in this story. <laughs> and isn't uh, Rad Shiva our boss right now? Yes. Dang, no respect for Rad Sheba. Things are pretty quiet outside. This is such a bad segue! Ah, <laughs> oh, it kills me every time. Alright, so what's the voice, Ken? I'll do it. Can I, Ken? Oh. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Steph, do you wanna do it? Sure. Do it. Jill! Oh, Miss Ken. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. She's alive. What happened to her? She lost her job. Well, she quit her job. Oh, okay. I didn't realize, uh, Ugh, just how much stress. the newspaper was playing on me until I quit. But the bad stuff was because her job was stressing her out before she quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved victory. Like I got a hold of my own life. Good for her. Nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Damn it, oh, should I just become really? a bartender? Yeah, I did some research. I mean, it cool. Not in the times of Corona, but apparently it was oh, a good God, job really. in other times. I mean, with the journalism degree, I mean, the sky's the limit. Uh, the BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounded like a good thing to do for the time it. being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. Bit of advice, don't go for a BTC housing plan unless you absolutely have to. Where's for the, like, bartending association have, like, some housing plan? You have to sign uh, yeah. a contract for at least five years of service with a cut and pay and tips. Oh, that sounds awful. That's like some Uber shit. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that one, but I backed or, down. Yeah, or like beauty school. Like. <laughs> How 
do you back down a bit? Do you like, do you like pay out of like tips and, um, and your salary to like get like free schooling or something? You just don't, you, you pay to go to school, but school is just you cutting hair for like um, yeah, a year like or something years. like that. Yeah. Or yeah, so you have to get a full time, you have to get a, a part time job to pay for your full time job. Yeah, it depends on some states. Sometimes like, I think some states don't require certification and some like add long of certification training. No, I know some states have ridiculous, like, uh, beauty petition programs. So you yeah, work for the beauty Jersey school. Yeah, you gotta pay the beauty school and you work cutting hair and you could get clients, but that money goes to the school and at most you get tips. Yeah. So it's kind of... My friend graduated in New Jersey and they wouldn't even let her cut hair. She had to, like, basically wash hair, like, prep people for, like, the first year and then they let her cut. It was weird. Yeah, it sounds brutal. Well, I took the chance when the BC, BCC found me an apartment. And instead of signing the BCC contract, I just asked for a regular one. And I'm getting evicted this week. <laughs> I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in, Ele uh, back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to get discounted rooms to employees. But in this, in this city, Realty Moi holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. Are we technically in America? Is that where we are? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. So, BTC can easily offer such products. Huh. I want to say the next game from Central America, and I don't know why I think that. I think I read it somewhere. It's in a resort island or something. I thought it was in like Panama or something, and I don't know why I thought that. Realty Noir is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. The truth is that Reality Noir has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, but in realty, um, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've They've only started around three or four new projects. And they're all expansions of their already, already established ones. Oh, you seem to know a lot about it. Nah, I've just heard a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all part of the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something, I don't know, different. Enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okie dokie. Sugar rush. I feel like I've been serving a lot of them lately. Isn't that like the most popular drink? Isn't that the simplest drink too they talk yeah. about? So it's like pretty common to make one. Here you go. Yay! Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. No, you didn't. You came for the sugar rush, damn it. Me. Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked. I was tired. I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down, and your boss saved me. And I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Aww. Much appreciated, thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit... off. I'm better now, thanks. Glad to hear. It was weird to see you like that. 
I always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. I did? Y you don't? I don't. Jill's just cool. Hey, are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool don't or do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't try to put up an act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? More importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. I'm going to stalk you. Good luck with that. Say, so, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Hey, there's bubbly. Let's pick up expensive one. French Weaver is too expensive, pretty expensive. Oh, oh, never mind. Dang. Give her that cobalt velvet. Yeah. You, I'm gonna need some ice. Uh, boss. Boss? Oh, I knew you. You're crazy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're no longer, you know, freaking out and you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm alive. I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like like everything was shouting. And I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like sorry. Cat's father. Like Thank you. Don't even mention it, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. I just still felt it was right. Jill, ice please. I need an icebreaker here. Right. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know a couple people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. Aside from the crying and sobbing now. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, and he says I'm okay. I just, something overcame me, but you intervened and everything's fine. I don't know what to say. Well, as long as you're right. You already said thank you. Saying that you're fine is more than enough for me. I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that, at least. Don't worry about it. Just go out and be happy. Stop crying, please. You have a second chance, so use it as best you can. I will. Buy some expensive drinks so Jill can pay her rent. No, I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. Thank you again. Darn. Please come again. Yay. So a couple weeks ago I read something about a woman saving a suicide a girl catching her midair. Would you know something uh, about that, boss? What? Maybe. Maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it's the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? Is this say? It kind of looks lonely? like say. Feeling lonely? I don't think it's say. Well, probably that boy. I think. The Karamiki. Maybe. Let's find it. Oh. oh, it's Anna. Oh. Damn. Oh, hey, Ed. Hey, you doing? And, uh, who wants to voice Anna? Or should I do it? Uh, I, I mean, can take I, over, yeah. unless somebody yeah. else want to try it. I, I, 
Uh, I guess I'll try it then. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously. It feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So, I just watched in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Earth to gel, I'm talking to you here. I ignore it, she'll leave. I've got unfathomable sense of dread, you can just ignore me, you know. Ellipses. Julian Stingray, I am talking to you. Calm down, don't fall for your tongue. How did she know my full name, though? I uh, thought your full name was Julian Natalie Stingray, or did you legally remove the Natalie? Mind that? Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. What is going on? Alright, I said I'm going crazy. Wait, who is this? And why does she care? She was at the, the beginning of the, the beginning. game. Such a self-centered way to see the world. If you go back to our first session YouTube video, you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you assume you're crazy because you can't accept this world would be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. And just because you only experience something doesn't mean it's a lie. Or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at the ASMR. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this ASMR video. is the devil. You acknowledged me! Shit. That's good. I won! Not serving you. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Be like that. The drinks are also paid for with my money. I'm poor. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but that set uh, that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. Still paying off my student loans. I was gonna buy some curry with that money. I'd put it up. I had to put up those for your drinks. Really? No, but all the duty done. I uh, know we have slow days, but for God's sakes. You okay? You look angry. Fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Is anyone hallucinating? Ah, uh, boss. What happened? Meeting cut short, at least I drank the pass, passive, pass, and a the bottle drink, I don't know. Hennessy? That's what it sounded like. Are you okay? You look distraught. Are you seeing things? Fine. I really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. You're wearing jeans under a skirt. That's a bit. Why? Just why? <laughs> My people, of course, because I'm your schizophrenia. Is that to a new trend? What? How does that? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like I'm not quite right. Everyone thinks she'd call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it because that is not, I mean, it's because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats after all. It's all uncannily right, not all wrong. And they can't stop staring. Like anyone other than me can see it though. See it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of weird faces there. Are you okay? Call the doctor? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving. No, we need money. Set him, set the lines back. Just, just mix it up, yeah. yeah. You stay here. 
Who stays where? What? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I met who mixed their inner and outer voice. I, um, I thought I saw one of those dogs near the counter. Sorry. Okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. Sure, you okay? What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. Oh, that's not what I... Whatever. Hey, right. how much did we make? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a really good couple days. We gotta believe in ourselves. Believe in the hundred coach. Believe in changing lives. Oh god. Need ten grand, or oh, you'll be a big oh, no. man. I feel my butt to buy a poster. No. 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 How much is the poster, though? That's the problem. The, uh, everything's so freaking expensive. Jeez. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. That's too pity. That's a good drink. What have you I mean. $250 for a poster is kind of extreme, but you can buy like 250 posters with that kind of money this in the real hard. world. I mean, it's a movie poster. Alright. Alright, let's uh, call it there for the night. Yeah, I'm... Get ready to make some money later. Hell yeah. Man, I'm getting stressed out already. This game's supposed to be relaxing. This make me stressed about money management. Mm -hmm. And we haven't been about spending money like badly. I know. It teaches you everyday life. Yep. 